Rob Weissman, can you explain Citizens United, uh, what this group was, what the Citizens United decision came out of, how it links to Hillary Clinton and or an organization that Newt Gingrich, who seems now hoist on his own petard, worked closely with uh, Citizens United? Well, the organization Citizens United is, is an extreme fringe right-wing organization. If you go to their website, they're very concerned about the U.N. takeover of the United States, and that's sort of one of their core agenda pieces. Um, they also um, spend a lot of time developing so-called documentaries. Um, and in, in the lead-up to the 2008 election, they did an hour-long video hit piece on Hillary Clinton, assuming that she was going to be the nominee for the Democratic nominee for president. Then the issue, as, as, it, as it turned into a court case, the issue was, could Citizens United air this hour-long attack video on Hillary Clinton on cable TV uh, for, on demand? And that was actually a really narrow question under election law that's kind of technical, not unimportant, but not really that interesting. And that's how it was handled as it went up to the courts. When it got to the Supreme Court, that was argued that way the first time in front of the Supreme Court over that narrow technical issue. And the Supreme Court said, well, that's all very nice, but we're interested in a much bigger question, which is, can we just wipe away all restrictions on corporate spending on elections so long as there aren't direct contributions from corporations to candidates? So having decided what the question should be, even though it wasn't the question in the case, the Supreme Court then held a new argument and answered the question the way they intended to, which was to say, Corporations have a constitutional First Amendment right to spend whatever they want to influence election outcomes.